this is Kristen Coaching. Thank you so much for joining me today for this video. And the topic of this video is to talk about forgiveness once cheating happens. Okay, so this topic is related to infidelity. And I chose to talk about this topic today because I have first firsthand personal experience about this, and I'm sure many of you have gone through infidelity in your relationship, whether you have been the one who has cheated or been the one who has cheated on you know about it or you've had friends or family that it's happened to and it can be really 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 hard so i personally for some self-disclosure i have been the one who has cheated in relationships and i've been the one that has been cheated on in relationships so i have been on both sides of the spectrum and i think i have a pretty good understanding of the causes and effects that infidelity has in relationships and i really wanted to talk to you about forgiveness when it comes to infidelity what it means and how to do it and what must happen. So let me start off by saying that one in three couples experience infidelity in their relationship. That's one out of three. That's 33%, one third. That's a big chunk. At least that's the people that have admitted infidelity. So I have a feeling the number might be a lot higher than that. That being said, it happens and a lot of times we can feel really, really isolated once cheating happens. And we can really feel that nobody understands what we're going through and we are just alone in this heartache and this pain. And again, it doesn't matter what side of it you're on. Usually the one who has been cheated on, I want to say, is is the, the most painful part. But a lot of times if you have cheated too, and if you feel really, really awful about it, that can cause a lot of heartache and pain too. So it's it's awful for both sides experiencing this type of a situation once the truth comes out. So I just wanted to say that one third of people go through, or one third of couples go through um, infidelity and cheating. Out of that, um, I wanna say from what the research that I've done, about 50% stay together from that and 50% break up from that. So it's kind of a 50-50 choice of what happens once infidelity happens. But I wanna say that by telling you that it doesn't necessarily need to be a deal breaker in a relationship. A lot of people disagree with that and that's fine. Um, but statistics show that couples can bounce back from infidelity. My relationship has been able to do that as well as many other relationships that I have known personally in my life as well. Um, so I think what's important to start off by saying in terms of if you've been the one that's been cheated on especially, I need you to not blame yourself for what happened at all. Um, your significant other made his or her choice and it's 100% their responsibility of what they did. Now, sometimes you can feel like, oh, you know, I should have done this more and or should have done this better and my, and my partner wouldn't have strayed. You know, at the end of the day, your partner is an adult and able to make his or her own decisions and nobody forced your significant other to go ahead and find somebody else to have companionship with. So I need you to not blame yourself in this type of a situation. That's key. And I also need you to not lower your self-esteem and feel that you are not worthy and not worth it and you're a bad partner, okay? Because that's also a misconception that some people have, and that is not true. So I need you to know that. I really need you to know that. It's not your fault, and you are worth it. You're worth more than what has happened to you and being cheated on, okay? That being said, there have obviously been some things that have happened in your relationship that have you at this point in time that has caused infidelity and pain and heartache. So it's really important to understand that there's a difference between forgiveness and forgetting. I don't want anybody to ever forget what happened because if you forget, then you're just going to most likely repeat the same decisions over and over. It usually has to do with infidelity. You're going to keep doing that over and over. So you can't forget the past, but you can forgive. And what is forgiveness exactly? Well, forgiveness is your guys' ability to basically move forward from right here, right now, and decide if you want to make it work or not. And mostly forgiveness has to do with if you want to make it work. Um, do you want to make this work? Do you want to have a fresh start and a reset button? 
And that's what forgiveness is. It's about your ability to, to see what's happened, take all that pain and heartache and work through it and, and move forward from there. You know, that's true forgiveness and not holding um, past decisions in terms of bringing that back into your relationship in a negative way. So for example, you know, if you move forward, you can't always, when you're in a fight with your significant other, you can't be in like, get mad at that person and be like, well, you cheated on me, you know, years ago and, and bring that into the present moment. You know, that's not per se forgiveness. It's, it's there and you can always talk about it in terms of, um, you know, just how you've gotten from there to here now and things like that, but you can't use it against your significant other moving forward. So that's a big piece in terms of, you know, what forgiveness really means. And in order to move forward, um, whether you are the cheater or the one who has been cheated on, it is really important that the one who has cheated needs to show regret and remorse. So in order to figure out if you're going to uh, continue to have a relationship once infidelity has happened, the person who has cheated needs to show regret and remorse. And then the third thing that you must have is restitution. Doing what you can for however long as you need to 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 have your partner understand that you are going to help make this relationship strong again that you're going to do whatever you need to do for your partner to feel secure with you again and trust you again and and work on things again and i've talked about other videos about the benefits of couples counseling which i'd love for you to watch because i think that will be a good kind of segue into um, how some couples can learn to repair um, situations, especially when it comes to cheating and straying. Um, but you have to be able to pay restitution, okay? And I'm not meaning in any monetary way or in gifts and things like that. It's an emotional restitution. It's showing your partner that you're committed and you're not going to make the same mistakes again and you want to work on things and make things better. So... Forgiveness is complicated and there's a lot of steps involved in it and there's a lot of emotions, um, but it's important to kind of wrap your brain around what happened and figure out if you guys are able to uh, move forward and move past what's happening. And I think really figuring out why it happened in the first place is 100% key into figuring out if you're going to be able to move forward and continue to have a happy, uh, long-lasting relationship after that. Feel free to comment below. I will be happy to answer any questions that you guys have. And uh, please subscribe to my YouTube page for more helpful tips on uh, related to relationships and on how to have a healthy relationship. Thanks for joining me. Bye.